What up, guys? So, it's been a freaking long time since I uploaded a video. It's been actually, like, a little bit over a month now. Um, well, I've pretty much just been grinding herbivore. Um, yeah, my luck isn't too great. You guys can see my kill count right there. I am over double the rate. And I did say in my last video, probably a dumb idea... But I did say in my last video that I would, my next video would be me getting the pet. So I kind of didn't want to make like filler episodes where I'm just literally just talking and just doing herbivore. I don't know, maybe you guys like that, but um, I kind of like doing other things, you know. And I've literally just been doing this the entire month, like whenever I can. And I've done over like 30 mil XP. But in this video, I wanted to talk about the new dev blog that came out uh, today, which is pretty awesome uh they're changing basically a lot of the shitty things on fossil island and making it so a lot more people can come here because according to their statistics they said like 18 to 20 percent of players only did like certain things uh some things i didn't even know about apparently you can get like free fossils from the panning pete guy who's like near one of the boats but basically the first thing that they wanted to uh, do is create like a mini task list so people can just know what to do because when you go to Falsa Island there really there's like a lot of things you can do but not that many ways to learn how to do them uh, effectively rather like I haven't seen many videos about Falsa Island like training certain things like especially for the wood cutting like I, I, I have no idea what the rates are there I can't find anything about it other than the pet rate um, yeah, that's another thing I haven't really done, but, um, basically they just want to ask, uh, they want to create like a mini task list, which is pretty awesome, I guess, uh, to start your display cases, so to get more people coming to the island again. Now the one thing that I'm sort of glad that they're changing, but I don't understand how good this is going to be, so there's these things called birdhouses, which... Initially, they were supposed to be really good, like actually giving you really good XP, but now, but they had to nerf them because a lot of people complained because it was basically like free hunter XP without training hunter. It was like, it was basically like farming for hunter XP. Um, so basically, there's a bunch of these birdhouses around the island. There's one right there. Every time you can see one of these spaces, you can place a birdhouse and basically every now every hour I believe you can um, when the birdhouses get full of birds you can get XP and uh, right now the highest birdhouse you can make is at 35 hunter which you know it, it's it's mainly supposed to be um, a training method for low-level hunters but they're really, I mean, to get the kudos and everything to come to the island, you're you're gonna have more than 35 hunter. Like no one's no one's doing this. I tried it out, and I only get like 1.8k XP added to my hour, which is like two birdhouses. So while doing herbivore, it's like 150k hunter XP an hour. It's not that great. It doesn't really change it much. Um, but if they do, they want to scale it, so they want to basically allow so you can make higher tier birdhouses, which will most likely mean you will be able to get a lot more XP in return, which, that's, I, I don't know how I feel about that. That's gonna, this could make herbivore actually a efficient way to do hunter at certain levels, I'm not sure. Because um, depending on how much XP you get, you get probably... I think there's at least three bird birdhouses you can do per hour. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check real quick, real real. Qu Whoa. Okay. So there's actually two here. Oh. Okay. So which means I will be able to do four. I believe. There's one right. Yeah. So I'll be able to do four. So every now and then I would teleport using this tree, and I'll be able to do four per hour. So we'll see what Jagex. Um, does about that. Okay, so the next thing, um, I don't know really why they're changing this, but, um, they're changing the way you get XP 
from the underwater agility slash thieving training. Now, what they want to do is add a new tier, which basically you can just pick the skill that you want to train between thieving or agility, and you can turn in your tiers within six hours um, to get either thieving or agility XP, which I don't know how, how I feel about that. I mean, currently it's efficient to just do the mini game and get thieving and um, agility XP, but they want to change that entirely so you just get these tiers and you can just trade them for XP. Now, this might be an efficient way to train agility. This might be like the new efficient way, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how good this really is. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of hope they just buff the shop a little bit. Maybe you can get GP, but I don't know what their plan is with the shop now. They basically just want to make it so you can trade in for the skill that you really want to train, I guess. And it's it's not a bad mini game. I, I you can easily do it solo. Like I did it solo, and I got efficient rates. It's not that difficult, but I mean, they're gonna be pulling all of this, so we'll see how that goes. Now, I, one thing I haven't tried is the drift net fishing. This is another thing they want to change. Um, they basically want to cap it out. Or, no, they just want it to be less annoying, pretty much. And just add a lot of quality of life to the minigame, making it better. The only problem I have with this is, in order to get, or to make drift nets, you need to get jute fibers, which are pretty expensive and they're hard to buy. So not many people really want to do this because of how difficult it is. And I think you can only do this, like, once per day, I think. I'm not sure. Or there's like a certain time you can do this every time. I'm not entirely sure. I've, I've not done this yet. But they want to just make it like a quality of life where you can permanently get like a one-off fee for permanent access. By paying with Numulite. And um, they also want to add like a new mermaid to the drift net area. Who can hold like a bunch of nets that you make. Which is fine, I don't mind. I don't think this is the right way to make this, like... I don't think people are going to come here, even if they add this, but whatever. Um, okay, so now the new woodcutting area out of the Suyusep trees. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, they want to move the crazy archaeologist guy, the little demi-boss that, that pretty much kills you if you get in the way of one of its attacks it's pretty bad um it makes it sort of annoying they're also going to be nerfing some of the tar monsters because they're also pretty annoying which is honestly i i like this i they increased the xp rates by 40 percent which i haven't tried it i haven't seen anybody really try this yet like i haven't seen anybody with 99 woodcutting try this it's kind of... I, I, I have no idea what to do. I might try this for the woodcutting pet if it's decent, but I think this might bring... I mean, if they do move these things around, I think a lot more people will definitely come here. Um, but yeah, that's what they pretty much just want to change. And they're, they're... I don't know. They also want to change wyverns and nerf their defense, which... I think that's like one of the big things that a lot of people come to Fossil Island for um, is wyverns, especially if you're an Iron Man. But um, also, like, I haven't really seen many people go there either. Like, I haven't really seen much other than like a few people that I know. <laughs> uh, they also want to make it so you can buy volcanic ash from the uh, volcanic mine shop, which is pretty awesome. Um, that that's definitely a good thing uh it might crash volcanic ash i think because i know a lot more people are doing the volcanic mine i think what they should have added to this dev blog is the maybe make it so the volcanic mine is a lot more popular i guess or just figure out a way to make it more popular but they left out herbivore and the volcanic mine in this one. Oh, and they did mention hardwood farming um 
which they're basically just fixing the farming timers so yeah it, honestly false island so far has been kind of weird there's like a lot of things that seem sort of broken about it i don't know um but lastly this is the one thing i am really excited about is the new sort of demi boss that they want to add I don't know if it's going to be in the museum or in the Varrock Museum or what, but they're basically going to add a new demi boss similar to Skodazo, where you can use fossils in order to access it. Now, I am really excited because I have a ton of fossils. Like, oh my god, like finally, some they're going to give it fossils use, you know? And I think I know what the boss is going to be like. Um, there's like this book that you can get on the island in this little area right here. Uh, if you open these chests, you can get these pages. And I read that there's like a mushroom thing that escaped. That's why everything is like destroyed in there. And basically, I think they're going to be adding a new mushroom boss that will basically be... On one of these islands, I hope. I thought this dev blog, they were going to add stuff to these. Or, I think they're planning to. But there's a bunch of islands, if you don't know, around this area. So, that's probably the most thing... That's probably the thing that I'm basically looking forward to, is the... Um, the new Demi Boss, which is going to be similar to Skodazo. Hopefully it has a pet. Because um, I have a shit ton of fossils actually I'm gonna show you guys all my fossils um, without spoiling my uh, tab for my herbivore pet um, yeah that is a ton of fossils I'm gonna blur this out so you guys can't see this because I am saving that for when I get the pet um, but yeah I have a ton of fossils I believe it's gonna be just like to get to to kill one boss you'll have to use one of each fossil which makes sense because Skodazo uses totems and totems are pretty rare and I mean as long as you have a rare fossil like this is 63 kills but I also have to finish for rock museum so might be a little bit less but yeah I guess that that will definitely make it so a lot more people come to uh, fossil island especially if um, they add that new boss because I think if there's a pet, people will definitely camp for the pet, which means people will go for the er, uh, people will get fossils, and I believe the best way to get fossils is through the new uh, Siliusep trees. I, I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly, but yeah, so more people will go there if they want to get fossils. So, all in all, this isn't a bad dev blog. Um, I kind of sped through it a little bit. There really isn't much that they mention. It's a little bit vague. Maybe they might add a part two to this. Because um, they definitely want feedback. So definitely post on the forums or make a video about it if you guys want. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm um, just looking through it one more time. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They don't want to add anything too soon because of the king of the skill going on right now. So, but they did say that they do want to add in the not so distant future the new demi boss. So, I'm stoked for that. A new boss is always something people love, especially if it's like an instance boss. So, anyways, hopefully you guys, hopefully I will see you guys in the next video with a pet soon. Um. This pet is just... I hate this place. <laughs> I fucking hate this place. Uh, I'm not I'm not that mad now that... I, like, even though I've been dry, I'm just glad I actually have a ton of fossils for something. And they're actually going to give use. Because currently, they don't really... You can just trade them in for new Mulite, which are 15 GP each. And they're not that great. But anyways... Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you guys think about this dev blog in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.